The ties. That bind. The ties. That break. Fifty million dollars. <laughs> Did you see yesterday's evening news? Yes. Former Mayor William Pierce leaves fifty million dollar estate to his secret illegitimate son. Alex planted that story. No, it was that snake. Henry Sharp. Henry. Yes. He did this to humiliate me. Everyone in DC will have seen this by now. I can't leave the house. I can't go to my sorority meetings, or my association events. I'm the laughingstock of DC. I won't be able to show my face anywhere in this town after this. If your father were still alive, I'd kill him. You are overreacting, mother. This city has more scandals than a reality television show. By this time next week, the mayor will have stepped his foot into another high-profile mess, and nobody will even remember the name, Alex Pierce. I need a drink. Dallas, will you make me something? Very strong. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. Mother, why did you make me get out of bed at 6 o'clock this morning and come over here? I think we can, all, agree now Austin that Alex only came back into our lives for the money. I guess you were right. But, it's not really him that I'm surprised at. It's dad. I can't believe that he did that to us. Like he said, he knew that we didn't need his money. We have our own money. Maybe not 50 million dollars, but certainly enough. Speak for yourself. I take it that you are planning to contest the will. Of course I intend to contest the will. But for appearances sake, it will be you and Austin who are actually contesting the will. I can't have a bunch of asinine rumors spreading around town that my husband left me broke and penniless. As if. I don't need William's money, but it is the principle of the matter that is at stake. There is no way in hell that I'm going to let that little slut, Valise Mason, keep $50 million of my husband's money. I'm not sure that you have a choice, mother. We heard his will from his own mouth. These were his wishes. Have we met? I am Angela, St. James, Pierce. I always, get what I want, eventually. So, what's the plan? Simple. We take back what is rightfully ours. Good morning, Austin. Hi, Austin. Good morning. Good morning, Miss May. Cheryl, can I speak to you in my office? Uh-oh. I just came from my country club. They told me that my membership fee wasn't paid this month because there were insufficient funds in my account. I tried to tell you. Do you still think that it's Ted? Do you know what I think? I think that it's you. You're the finance manager, right? You approve all of the contracts, deposit the money, write the checks. You are the only person, other than me, who has access to the company's bank account. I would never steal from you, Austin. Why not? I'm just a spoiled, little rich boy who can always go running to his mommy. Isn't that what you suggested I do yesterday? I would never steal from you, Austin. <laughs> just from C-Dub's EZ Mart, ha. Huh? Arrested for shoplifting when you were 17. Funny how you didn't mention that on your employment application. Are you firing me? Did you take my money? No. I took your name off of the bank account. Okay. Find my money and make sure it gets back into my account. How? Figure it out. So, did you quit your job or just call in sick today? I quit. You know that money your father left you is tied up in stocks and investments. I talked to my dad's attorney, Mr. Sharp, this morning. I told him that I wanted to sell half of the stock. He said he'd make the arrangements. I see. Then you'll have 25 million in cash. Then, we, will have 25 million in cash. I thought you were taking me to brunch. There are no restaurants around here. This is it. Whose house is this? Yours if you want it. What? I was on the internet all morning looking at houses for sale in this neighborhood. I'll get you any house that you want. Oh baby, you don't have to do that for me. I'm just fine where I am. But I'm not fine with it. 
I never have been. When I was a little boy, I prayed every night that someday my mama would live in a house as big and as beautiful as Angela Pierce's house. Because you deserved better than an apartment or a run-down row house. I never wanted William Pierce's money. I wanted to not hear you crying in your room at night. Oh Alex, baby, I didn't know you could hear me. William Pierce hurt both of us. Now, maybe his money can bring us both a little happiness. Having my son has always been enough for me. You deserve more. Let me do this for you. This house or any other house that you want. Well, I suppose it doesn't hurt to look. Now my dream can finally come true. That was a great job. I feel so much better. Now I will just take a quick shower and head into the office. But first let me check the mailbox. Somebody left me a note. Oh. My god. Hello. It's me, Catherine Holt. Ah. I mean, Dana James. I need your help right away.